Prayers Lesson 35 Pillars and Conditions Prayer is a continuous relation between a bondman and his lord. Prayer prevents obscenity and rejuvenates a sense of piety to Allah. It cultivates in a Muslim the spirit of community, brotherhood, equality and discipline. It is an ideal model for the Muslim nation that should be led by their best in knowledge, jurisprudence and morality. Prayer is obligatory for every Muslim in its five specific times, early morning, after dawn and before sunrise, noon, mid-afternoon, sunset and evening. Prayer is the most preferred form of worship as it is the pillar of religion. It is the first pillar of Islam after saying there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. The prophets highly recommended prayers. Some are confirmed sunnah and others are not. Besides, it is up to the Muslim to perform more voluntary prayers as he likes. The prescribed prayers are obligatory for every sane, mature Muslim. Women must be free from menstruation and postnatal bleeding in order to pray. Conditions for a prayer to be performed correctly are a. Purification of what makes it necessary to perform ablution as well as purification from janaba, having sexual intercourse, by bathing. b. Covering the private parts of the body from the navel to the knee for men and the whole body excluding the face and the two hands for women. c facing the direction of prayer qibla d the purity of one's clothing e knowing the due time for prayer obligatory elements of prayer a sincere intention b performing the obligatory standing unless unable c saying allahu akbar Allah is the greatest, a sign of entering ritual consecration. D. Reciting Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening Surah of the Holy Quran, in every raqqa unit of prayer, with the exception of the person who is led in audible prayers. E. Bowing down and returning to the upright position. F performing two prostrations and sitting between them. G. Performing bowing, prostration and standing at a natural speed. H. Sitting to recite the last tashahud, then greeting. This is the arrangement of every unit. Evidence of Quran and Sunnah Prayer is obligatory. Allah says, This means when you have finished a salah, the prayer, congregational, remember Allah standing, sitting down, and lying down on your sides. But when you are free from danger, perform a salah, ikamat al salah. Verily, the prayer is enjoined on the believers at fixed hours. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Islam is raised on five pillars. The testification that there is no God but Allah, that Muhammad is his bondsman and messenger, the establishment of prayer and the payment of zakah, poor due, the pilgrimage to the house of Allah, Kaaba, and fasting during Ramadan. The wisdom behind the prayer and the merits of it. Allah says, This means verily a salah, the prayer, prevents from al fahsha, i.e., great sins of every kind, unlawful sexual intercourse, etc., 
and al munkar that is disbelief polytheism and every kind of evil wicked deed etc the prophet peace be upon him said the principle of this matter is islam its hump is prayer and its top is jihad the prophet peace be upon him said verily between man and polytheism and unbelief is the negligence of prayer the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said I have been commanded to fight against people until they testify that there is no God but Allah that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah perform prayers and pay zakah if they do that the protection of their blood and property will be guaranteed by me except when justified by law and their affairs regarding truthfulness of faith is decided by Allah Ibn Mas'ud may Allah be pleased with him narrated I said O messenger of Allah which deed is the most beloved by Allah he said performing the prayers at its fixed time the Prophet peace be upon him said the similitude of the five prayers is like an overflowing river passing by the gate of one of you in which he washes five times daily the Prophet peace be upon him said when the time for a prescribed prayer comes if any Muslim performs ablution well and offers his prayer with humility and bowing it will be an expiation for his past sins so long as he has not committed a major sin and this applies to all times women should be free from menstruation and postnatal bleeding the Prophet peace be upon him said to Fatima bint Hubaysh when the blood of the menses comes it is black blood which can be recognized so when that i.e. the black blood comes refrain from prayer but when a different type of blood comes perform ablution and pray for it is due only to a vein conditions for rightly performed prayers purification see lesson 32 covering one's private parts Allah says this means take your adornment by wearing your clean clothes while praying the Prophet peace be upon him said Allah does not accept the prayer of a woman who has reached puberty unless she wears a veil Qibla Allah says this means so turn your face in the direction of al masjid al haram at Makkah and wheresoever you people are turn your faces in prayer in that direction Allah says this means and from wheresoever you start forth for prayers turn your face in the direction of Al Masjid Al Haram at Makkah. That is indeed the truth from your Lord. And Allah is not unaware of what you do. Allah says, This means, and from wheresoever you start forth for prayers, turn your face in the direction of Al Masjid Al Haram at Makkah and wheresoever you are turn your faces towards it when you pray Muslims should do their best to specify the direction of Qibla as much as possible al-Bukhari and Muslim reported that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him was seen praying on his camel while he was coming from Mecca to Medina the way in which the camel walked obligatory integrals of prayer intention the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said verily the value of deeds depends on the intentions behind them standing Allah says 
This means, and stand before Allah with obedience. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Pray while standing, and if you cannot, pray while sitting. And if you cannot do even that, then pray lying on your side. Saying Allahu Akbar, Allah is the greatest. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The key of prayer is purification. Takbir, saying Allah is the greatest, makes all acts which break prayer unlawful, and taslim, uttering the salutation, makes all such acts lawful. Reciting Fatiha. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to one of his companions, whoever does not recite Al-Fatiha in his prayer, his prayer is invalid. Bowing down and prostrating. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, when you stand for prayer, perform ablution properly and then face the Qibla and say Takbir, Allahu Akbar. And then recite what you know from the Qur'an and then bow with calmness till you feel at ease. Then rise from bowing till you stand straight and then prostrate calmly and remain in prostration till you feel at ease. And then raise your head and sit with calmness till you feel at ease and then prostrate with calmness and remain in prostration till you feel at ease and then raise your head and sit with calmness till you feel at ease in the sitting position and do likewise in the whole of your prayer. End greeting. The Prophet peace be upon him said and its end is taslim. This is a part of an above mentioned hadith. The order of the rak'ahs of prayer. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, and offer your prayers in the way you saw me offering my prayers.